In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a contact form to Google Sites so that people can contact you. Perhaps you want them to sign up for a particular course or perhaps you just want them to be able to send you a message. It's super simple and you could actually use this contact form in other websites, but we're gonna look at using it in Google Sites. Really hope you like the video and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Any of those things will really help to boost my ranking on YouTube. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia. If you wanna try it out, there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there. And there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works. And I'll also put that in the description. So you can see the contact form on the page here. And now if you've not ever used Google Sites before and you actually wanna to learn to use Google Sites, well, there's a video on the screen now that you can click on. It's a full introduction into Google Sites. And in fact, I've also got an advanced one and I'll also put that on the screen. Because what I'm gonna do in this one is not show you how to make a website like the one that you can see on the screen now with all these different pages and drop down menus, but rather we're just gonna focus on the contact form. So let's start by looking at an example. What you do is you create a Google form and then you embed that Google form into your Google site. So it's very easy to do. And it's then very easy to access the information. If I click over on this contact page here, you'll see my contact page. Now this was a particular one because I wanted people to sign up or at least to put their names down for a course. So all I needed to collect was their name and surname and their email address. Then once I had their email address, I was able to email them and make them the offer for the course. And this has worked really well for me. I'm gonna show you now just how many people signed up for that particular course. So all I need to do is come over to my Google Drive. So I've opened up my Google Drive and if I come down to where that particular Google form is that I've embedded into my Google Sites, if I click there, you can see that actually 120 people have responded. Now you might ask, how do you get their information? Well, you just simply click on responses and go to questions and then it will take you through the question. So the first question will be everybody's name and the second question will be everybody's email address. And so I've now got everyone's name and everyone's email address. Now the easiest way to accept this or to access this information is just simply click on view in Google Sheets because it will open up a Google Sheet where you will have simply two columns in my case, one with the name and one with the email address. And then it's very easy for me to reply. Now, of course, I could have added a message when people sent me an email. If they wanted to contact me, for example, and ask me a question, I could have provided that. And in the example I'm gonna do, will include a space for the people to write something in case they want to actually ask you a question. So first thing we need to do, of course, is to create the Google form and then we embed the Google form into the Google site. So let me show you how you create that Google form and the types of questions that you should be asking so that you get the information that you want. So I'll need to go to my Google Drive, click here, click on Drive, and we're gonna make a new form. So we're gonna click on New, and then the one we want is Google Forms. So just click on that and it's gonna open up a window. And this is gonna be really quick. I'm just gonna show you three basic questions, name, email address, and message. So how are we gonna do that? So first couple of things is we're gonna call this a contact form. So I'm gonna call this contact form for Russell Stannard. Okay, so that's who you could be contacting. I'm gonna click here and we can use the same title for the actual name of the Google file, in other words, of the Google form. So this is when you were looking on your Google Drive, this is what it's called, contact form for Russell Stannard. Now, we can write a quick description in here. So we might just put in something like, you know, please fill in your information below if you want to contact Russell with a question. So you can see I've put a little message here and these days you can actually format that. So if you wanted to make it, say for example, bold, you could do that or even make it um, different italics, etc. So now we come below and click in. Just what I'm gonna put here is just put name and surname. Nothing more, very simple, very simple like that. 
we need to change this. We don't want this to be a multiple choice question, just we want a short answer, it's really important. And the other thing is you wanna make sure that it's required. So now you've got the name and the surname. And now we're gonna click on plus because we're gonna want something else. And that is we're gonna want the email address. Now there is a special setting with the email address that I wanna make clear to you. Google Forms can actually check that someone in has written in an email address. And to do that, all you need to do is first of all, choose required, but click here and we wanna click on response validation. And in response validation, we want to put the um, idea of text, okay? And then contains, in this case, okay, contains email. So we want email address, okay? So this will check whether or not someone has authentically written in an email address, and that's a really good idea. Just a super quick break from the video. If you do like what you've seen and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in making videos to help language teachers and language students make better use of technology in their teaching and in their learning. There's loads of content to access on the opening page, but also we've got this menu system here, including a couple of drop-down menus with some of the really popular sections with the AI technologies that are obviously very popular at the moment. If you want to keep up with the latest videos and the latest free webinars that we organize, then sign up to the newsletter. We've got about 12,000 subscribers now. And also part of that newsletter is that you will get a free 14 part course where I show you some of the most popular YouTube videos I've already made, showing you key technologies that we can use in language teaching and language learning. Finally, if you'd like to have live training with me, the best thing is to join me on Patreon. It's just $6 a month, and for that, you get three extra videos every month, uh, often dealing with things that I don't cover on YouTube. There are no adverts, of course, and you get that monthly training where we meet online and look in detail at a particular technology. Just click on the button here, and you can find out more about the Patreon site. Now, finally, what you will need is perhaps a message. So to do that, the best thing to do is to click on plus, and here we're gonna say, write your message, write your message. And in this case, what I would suggest is that you actually give people a bigger area to write, so they've got a paragraph. So here people will actually be able to write a message to you. And whether or not you, I guess in most cases, you are gonna want this to be a required piece of information so we've now created the Google form you can see how easy it is now all we need to do is to embed that Google form into our Google sites so just coming back to my website now what I will do is I'll delete the current contact page so I'm just going to click on that and delete it so I'm going to get rid of that one and how do we find that Google form this is one of the brilliant things about the way Google sites work on the right hand side just click on insert come down and you will see that you have something called Google Forms. Now click here, and what that's actually doing is it's opening up your Google Drive and it's gonna show you all the forms that you've got. And that's why it's so important to give it a name because I can see it here. That was the one that I was just using a minute ago, but now we want this one. So you just click on it and then click on Insert. And when you click on Insert to add it in, drag it out so it's nice and big, okay, on the screen and it should include, and you can always drag it down a little bit as well if you wanna make it a little bit longer as well. It should be okay. Now, if you wanna view that, and just see what it looks like, we'll just click here on preview, and you should see now how that Google form looks, and there we are, it looks really good. Now, we just might need to make that slightly longer to make sure that the sub button, sub, the uh, submit button is very clear. So if we just come back to do that, all we need to do is come down here, and we just click once and just drag down and make that a little bit bigger. So we're just dragging that down and making it a little bit bigger. So hopefully now that should all work. There it is, we've got our form with the submit, submit button and everything. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna log in as if I was somebody else and show you what it would look like to complete that form and then we'll see if the information really has appeared. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this website. Okay, this whole website is going to be published. So I'm just going to click on publish. I'll only publish it just for a couple of minutes. And uh, now we've got a link to the website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to log in as if I was someone external accessing the website. So I've just added in the link. I'm just going to press on enter. That's going to bring me up to the whole website here, but it's this contact page that I want. And notice that I can immediately put in my surname and my name. So I'm going to put Russell Stannard, and then I'm going to simply put in an email address here. And I'll just put in a false one, but I'll, I'll do it properly. So I'm going to call it Russell Handout 1000 uh, at gmail.com, for example. And then I'm also going to just write a message and I'll just say hello. And let's see if all that information comes through. Now, I've written in a correct email address, even though that isn't my email address. Just simply otherwise, the system will tell me, oh, the email address is not written in the right format. But if I press on submit, that information has now been sent to my website. Let's go in now and have a look at that form and see whether or not that information has been received. So just jumping onto my Google Drive, there is my form i'm going to click on it and there i can see that one person has already responded and of course if i click and go to the questions i can see all three first of all the name the next one would be the email address and the third one and let's have a quick look at the third one will be the message and the message is hello all the information's there it works absolutely perfectly Okay, really hope you like that video. And as I said, if you can come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads more free videos. Remember, if you want to sign up to the newsletter, there is the 14 part free mini course. There's no tricks. I highlight some of the best free technologies on the internet for delivering language teaching and language learning. And of course, you can also join me on Patreon if you want live sessions with me, if you want to meet me online and actually have direct training with me, then the best thing to do is to join me on Patreon. And if you click on this video here, you can get all of the information. And finally, if you want to contact me, scroll down, you can contact me on the website. If you want me to do some training with your organization, run a workshop, run a conference, or even if you want me to help you to build content for your online course, which is something I've done a lot of work on, or maybe it's because you want to build up a YouTube channel or you just want one-on-one -on -one training in using a technology like Camtasia. I am actually a recommended Camtasia trainer and I do a lot of work in Camtasia. Then you can contact me by just clicking on here and send me an email and I'll get back to you. I'm going to leave now some more content on the screen, some more videos that you might find interesting. And thank you very much.